Today we're going to be installing this 8-foot Minn Kota Talon onto this 2020 Beaver Tail Vengeance skiff, utilizing Minn Kota's tilt bracket purely as a spacer. This is a two-person job, so I'm here to assist Steve on it. I think we're going to get started. Absolutely. Well, let's take a look and see how we're going to get this guy aligned on here. The problem is, is we need to get this bracket aligned completely straight, and to do that, we can't just rely on our eyes. We're going to need to take some measurements. Now, we've already done all this work, but we're going to show you the theory behind what we've done. So, we were able to take a good hard-edged ruler. We have a really, really nice edge under this rolled cap here molded in the fiberglass. We were able to take two measurements exactly the same at about the spot we wanted to install this guy. And we've got ourselves a couple of guidelines here that we'll be able to use that are going to make sure that this is completely plumb to the boat. And being completely plumb is going to really be amplified. If we're off a little bit, this, at the top of the talon, we're going to be really off. So we have to make sure that we're as straight as we can be. And we're pretty confident in that. So then what we did was we popped the bracket. Jake was able to hold this up here for me. We got this thing dead on and then we outlined those holes with a magic marker. Just, less, just like so. Now it's time we need to drill our holes through the transom that our bolts are gonna pass through for this bracket. Very, very careful at this point. We wanna make sure that we're cognizant of the angle of the transom. Um, we don't want to drill straight in through because then we'll have bolts that'll be at an angle. We need always when we're working with fiberglass, almost always, we always want to be as perpendicular to the surface as we can be. So I'm going to be paying attention to that as I make these four holes. Let's go. Okay, that's our four holes. Now we're gonna peel the tape back. We're gonna get back of our bracket siliconed up really well, and we're gonna get this thing applied on. Well, as you can see, we've gotten our tape off. We've rounded our holes out so we get a little bit uh, easier pass through with the bolts. Next step in the process is to get this thing ready to be mounted, and that requires sealing it in. So we've got some silicone adhesive here, and what we're gonna do is we are going to run a bead around the outer edge. Something square like this, I like to run a nice T. Just basically paint a small letter T in the center, squares or rectangles like this. And then of course, just a little more around where the bolts are gonna pass through, making sure that our transom stays nice and dry as this boat goes and does its thing. Okay, that is the last bolt hole. We already have our bolts treated with the anti-seize product that came from the manufacturer. 
Those will be ready for Jacob on the other side. This is where you're really not going to escape a second pair of hands on the job. The socket back here, you should be good to go now. Now that we have the tilt bracket mounted to the hull that we were using only as a spacer, we are ready to mount the talon to that bracket. All right, after bolting down the talon to the bracket and making sure it was secure, we had to check a couple clearance issues that we had. We had to swing the talon out so that she was perpendicular up and down. We made sure that she was at the right angle and she was clear, had a clearance from the trim tab down below. We ran the wire in through the transom. We sealed the hole that we ran it through shut with uh, marine grade silicone. After that, we took the three wire system and hot ground, and it's uh, ignition wire, and we wired those in, and we're ready to test. Down. That concludes the installation of this Minkota Talon on this 2020 Beaver Tail Skiff.